Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the AEW Dark Review for the 21st of June 2022. Um, again, a nine-match show doesn't need to happen, but hey, they do them anyway, uh, so we might as well cover it. And with over 2,800 of these, certainly some things you're going to enjoy somewhere along the way. Anyway, uh, so we open with Max Caster Anthony Bo with Anthony Bowens defeating Trevor Aeon. Uh, Caster makes quick work of his opponent and hits a bunch of hard-hitting maneuvers, basic stuff, arm drags, arm bar slams, and such. Plays to the crowd and hits him his opponent with a mic drop for a quick win. Uh, Sermentico defeats Barry Morales. Um, fast exchange during the early stages, and then upper hand Nelly Morales with a power bomb. Shortly after that. Serpentico beats him with a gotch-style neutralizer for the win. Not sure that Serpentico should be winning matches, but at least they're trying to do something with the character. Chris Statlander defeats Ava Everett. Uh, Statlander takes Everett to the mat and uh, hits a standing frog splash. Uh, Everett comes back with a couple of rough forms. Statlander doesn't take that very lightly and uh, sends her into a twisting powerbomb for a victory. Dark Order, John Silver, and Alex Reynolds defeats the wingman Peter Avalon and Cesar Benoni. Why are these two people employed in a national company that's oversaturated anyway? Avalon dominates early but then gets led to him tagging out to Benoni. Benoni then works over on Silver. Silver gets nailed into his own corner with a big boot, but that doesn't really get... Anywhere, Reynolds gets tagged in and uh, cleans house. Benoni uh, gets taken out, but then Avalon uh, makes a secret tag. Avalon then uh, locked uh, on and looks like he's about to take off uh, Reynolds' head with a clothesline, but then that doesn't get caught. And he gets caught with a roll-up, and Dark Order gets a win, thankfully. Uh, matches like this don't need to happen, especially when there's so many of them. Varsity Blondes and Brock Anderson, on the other hand, with Arn Anderson, defeats Teriyaki, uh, Jay Lucas, and Larry Lazard. Uh, opposing team across from Anderson and the Blondes didn't get any offense. Uh, they get cleaned out, cleaned out one by one. Garrison has the majority of the offense, hitting Lucas with a rolling elbow before. Uh, front-facing slam for victory. Diamante defeating uh, Devin Maccabee. Uh, Maccabee has a quick advantage, tripping her opponent, and then goes to bounce off the ropes. Uh, and then there is a striking war between the two. Diamante coming out with the better kicks. Diamante uh, then locks her in the straight jacket cross-face for a submission. Tony East defeats JDX. In a pure rule match, I don't know that Tony Nese needs to be doing pure rules. I also don't know that uh, they need to be doing a pure rules match without really explaining what that is and what that entails for usually individuals not being ready. JDX stands up after recovering and nailing Nice with the right hand. Nice responds, taking his opponent uh, out with the knees and then blasting him with a reverse kick right in the skull. Nice then transitions into a pump handle pile driver for the victory. Uh, after the bout, Smart Mark Sterling calls out Wheeler Yuta on Nice's behalf for a pure title match next week. U Yuta accepts, which I guess is a good thing. ROH Women's Champion Mercedes Martinez and Serena Deeb defeats Yeti and a Anna Diaz. Uh, Deeb and Martinez make quick work of their opponents before they lock on their respective submissions on each other. Uh, or on their adversaries before dodging attacks from both and picking up another victory as a very random team. Final match of the show, Jay Lethal with Sanjay Dutt defeats Sat uh, and Satnam Singh, defeating Blake Christian. Um, Lethal and Christian tie lock up, and that uh, fizzles out once they get to the corner. Uh, Lethal is extremely cocky throughout. Lethal then regains an advantage after Christian fails to capitalize on a single dropkick that he hits. Match slows down, and Lethal applies uh, some holds, and then um, standing slice bled, bred by Christian for a near fall. Christian follows up with a ripcord. Spanish fly for a second near fall. Christian then goes for the 450, but Lethal gets the knees up. Lethal hits Lethal combination, followed by a top rope elbow drop for the win. Like I said, these shows are just content for the sake of content, but that's what wrestling has become. In 2022, we'll be back with more right after this.